Warsaw scientists looked into this Egyptian mummy and they found something, well, what they found shocked them to the very core. Welcome to What's Up Poland, the daily video show where we talk about news, views, culture, history, life, everything Poland. Yes, welcome to What's Up Poland. And I guess it's worth saying that with us, an unusual face, uh, or indeed a normal face, but an unusually in this program, Monica Zielinski. Hello, Monica. Hi, thanks for having me. It, it's appropriate that you're on the program in some respects with regards to this story, because uh, you're, I guess, in a way, you're on, you're being unveiled during this program, uh, just like a um, a wrapped up secret was unveiled by uh, whiz kid scientists uh, in Warsaw recently, making a world first, as usual, Poland number one. John, are you surprised? No, not at all, mate. Because Poland is where it happens, and Poland deep is where it happens. So this is the extraordinary story of a bunch of Polish scientists who were doing some regular scanning on an Egyptian mummy. As you know, there was the mummification of bodies and uh, regal uh, people surrounded by pots brimming with cisterces or whatever uh, denomination was popular at the time and various other bits and bobs hidden away uh, for thousands of years. But this team of Polish scientists were looking at this mummy, which was believed to be uh, the body of, I'm going to have to look for it, yes, the priest, Hor Dihuti, but it was not Hor Dihuti. Indeed, the mummy, which has actually been around since the 19th century in Poland, belonged not to this male priest, but to a woman. <gasps> Shocker. Quite unusually, and most unusually of all, with all of this, uh, Stanisław, who's this Egyptian, he's, it says here Egyptian archaeologist, not Egyptian archaeologist, but a name like that. Uh, Stanisław looks at the x ray images of this Hor Dihuti. Uh, and notices a little foot in the tummy. So it's actually a tragic story in a way because it's this mummified body of this woman who very sadly was in the 26th to 28th is estimated week of pregnancy when she died and was mummified. So this is a bit of a mystery, uh, a mystery within a mystery, as it were, as to why the baby is here, because apparently it wasn't common that the, 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 the women would be mummified and that also that is very unusual for the uh, baby to be there. I won't go into further details about how it is that they spotted that certain male appendages were not there, and that's what led them to it. It's all in the story, which you can find by clicking below. Um, so they've been doing, amongst other things, 3D reconstructions, and they show long, dark hair. Uh, interestingly enough, as you know, I like to go into the weeds, guys, and um, the backstory. John, you know how much I like to do the research. You, yeah, mate, you're digging, digging, digging for those pots brimming with cistercy informational cistercy yeah, exactly. well here's one exactly. because it turns out that the body was brought to poland by 1826 by a certain jan Rudzi- Rudzki. i would say Rudzicki. <laughs> now he Good made big, he made big claims about this being reclaimed from the hills of thebes but it, they think that actually it's, it's quite possible that it wasn't it wasn't from there so there's a bit of a mystery as to where it comes from it's on loan from the uh, university of warsaw uh, and it's now in the uh, Warsaw Museum, Warsaw Mummy Project. So there's more work going on on this. But yet again, Polish scientists at the forefront. And I have to say, guys, you saw the pictures. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit freaky looking. You know, yeah, the whole thing. <laughs> it is a bit, isn't it? It's Ugh. a little creepy. But then again, like mummies usually kind of look creepy, right? I mean, yeah, kind of, like, body I'd be scared to be up. cursed just touching it. I don't oh, want yeah. some kind of Egyptian curse on me. <laughs> well, I exactly. don't want any of that. That said, guys, I noticed the scientists in the pictures who watch this during the, if Philip, our editor, could put them on, then you'll notice that the scientists are not in masks. And I'm assuming that the photos are actually from pre-pandemic days because uh, unveiling the secrets from the depths, you know, from the time when pestilence was commonplace uh, without a mask on looks rather foolhardy. Absolutely. I'm sure Monica will have something to say about that. Oh, no, <laughs> not this time. <laughs> well, there you go. So uh, Warsaw scientists breaking waves, uncurling the mummy's uh, remarkable secrets. You can find more about this story and check out this team of hardworking and uh, attractively industrious uh, Polish Egyptologists. whiz kids. Egyptologists, yes. yeah, just just getting down and dirty with the details and uncovering. And I think at the end of it, I thought to myself, what a you know, what a tragedy in of its own way, you know. And people would have cried over this body and whoever this person was, and we don't know. So there's more to find out. Uh, it's a very interesting story, and you can find out more by clicking on the link to this story below the video. See you again for another episode of John. What's up, Poland? <laughs>